Today on the newscast, Iranian and Hezbollah leaders meet in Beirut to plan the Great Northern War against Israel. Plus, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu approves the Rafah battle plan. Is the war against Hamas in Gaza entering its final stages? Get all the breaking details next. Hey folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. Welcome to the Watchman Newscast. Before we get into this Iran-Hezbollah meeting in Beirut, perhaps a fateful meeting between terror masters when it comes to that coming great northern war against Israel, I want to give our viewers in South Africa a major shout out. If you watch yesterday's Watchman Newscast live stream, we broke down how the South African government, not the people of South Africa, but the government is really viciously anti-Israel, accusing Israel of genocide. And now, and this was the topic of yesterday's live stream, if you missed it, check it out here in our archives, right there under newscasts. Now, South Africa's foreign minister is threatening to arrest any soldiers for the IDF who set foot in South Africa. Now, that could be tourists or people visiting South Africa, number one. Number two, it could be citizens of South Africa who live in Israel. They're dual citizens, but they may visit home. They want to visit family. If they fought for the IDF against Hamas in Gaza, South Africa is saying, we will lock you up. So I talked about this yesterday on the live stream, and I pointed out Genesis 12:3. Those who bless Israel will be blessed, and those nations that curse Israel will be cursed. History bears that out. And I said, look, the government of South Africa is playing with fire. Well, I want to give all of our South African viewers, and there are many of you, a major shout out. I got a lot of feedback in the comments section under yesterday's video with folks from South Africa saying, hey, we do not support our government on this we stand with Israel. South Africa stands with Israel. Keep us, the people of South Africa, the citizens of South Africa, separate from this government. So, hey, thank you to all of our loyal South African viewers, friends of Israel. We appreciate you guys. God bless you. And I appreciated that feedback. It was great to hear. Hey, let's keep the pressure on, right? If you're in South Africa, tell that government, we don't agree with you. This is not the direction we want to go in. There's an election coming up very soon in South Africa, folks. And here at The Watchman, we've got that circled on our calendar. So I wanted to say that before we kicked off today because it really struck me the massive feedback we received yesterday from our South African viewers. God bless you guys. We appreciate it. Okay. We want to get into this secret meeting. Not so secret. I shouldn't say it was absolutely secretive, but details, I should say, are just emerging about this meeting between Iranian and Hezbollah officials in Beirut in February, just a few weeks ago. Now, Esmael Ghani, who is the head of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps, Quds Force, he met with Hezbollah leader Sheikh Hassan Nasrallah in Beirut. And folks, a few big takeaways here. Number one, Nasrallah told Iran, look, we, this is our war. That, those were his, his words reportedly. We will handle this. We don't need you getting involved. We want your support, of course, in every way, military, fi financially, uh, logistically, etc. But Iran, we won't pull you into this. We'll go head to head uh, with Israel. And that was music to the Iranian regime's ears because they are growing very concerned, ladies and gentlemen, that as the war broadens in the Middle East, thanks to Iran, by the way, but nonetheless, as it broadens, perhaps Iran, Iranian forces will be forced to get directly involved and directly engage with Israel. And Iran doesn't want that. Remember, their MO since 1979 is to battle against Israel through proxy. That means Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad in Gaza. That means the Houthis in Yemen, the Shia militias in Iraq and Syria. And yes, the most lethal proxy, Hezbollah in southern Lebanon. So Iran is worried. Look, if and when this erupts into a full-scale Great Northern War with prophetic implications. By the way, we've discussed this a bunch in recent months here on The Watchmen. When that happens, when Israel and Hezbollah go toe-to-toe -to -toe in a major conflict, which may be sooner rather than later, 
Iran is worried it will get sucked into that because, folks, look, Israel is really on the precipice of crushing Hamas decisively. And we'll talk about that more in a minute, the upcoming Rafah operation. But what if Israel is on the verge of crushing Hezbollah as well? So Iran's already essentially losing Hamas and Islamic Jihad out of its ring of fire. That ring will be closed very soon in Gaza, that ring of fire that surrounds Israel. So you can cross Hamas and Islamic Jihad out. Iran cannot afford to lose Hezbollah, which is the crown jewel of Iran's proxies and of that ring of fire that targets Israel. So if Hezbollah is in its death throes and Israel is prepared to deliver a knockout blow there in southern Lebanon, then the Iranian regime may very well be forced to get involved to fend off Israel and to bail out its most lethal proxy. But folks, Iran does not want to do that. Again, Iran likes to be in the shadows, operate through proxy, and never suffer the consequences that the regime deserves for all the chaos and wickedness and evil it's stirred up in the region for the past 45 years. But Iran is worried about two things. Number one, that it will have to directly engage Israel to help defend Hezbollah and help Hezbollah to survive, in essence. But number two, as things spiral and all of a sudden Iran gets involved directly, the Iranian regime is concerned that Israel says, this is our golden opportunity. Hey, Iran, you want to get involved? Okay, we've been waiting for this day. We're going to take this opportunity to not only crush Hezbollah, but to strike your nuclear facilities. That's what Iran fears the most. So, folks, the plot thickens as that great northern war beckons. In the meantime, to the south, Rafa. I want to break that down for you in a minute. Before I do, I forgot to mention it at the top, but I'll mention it right now. Hey, if you have not subscribed to this channel, the Watchman News channel, we'd love to have you here with us every day as Watchmen and Women on the Wall. You see our beautiful new studio behind me in Dallas-Fort Worth. It's called The Plex. I will be hosting not only The Watchmen here every day, but my brand new nightly show, Stacklebeck Tonight, launching March 25th. Mark your calendars. Quick reminder, 7.30 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time every night, every weeknight, Monday through Friday on TBN. Again, March 25th, we launch with some very special guests during launch week. You will not want to miss that. We'll have Stacklebeck Tonight content here on the channel as well, so be sure to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you get alerts every time a new uh, notification, new video is posted, I should say. And remember our podcast, The Stacks Cast. You can also subscribe there, Spotify, Apple Music. We've got The Watchmen here on YouTube. We've got Stacklebeck tonight on TBN and the podcast as well. A lot going on. God is really moving and just expanding our territory, not for our glory, but for his. Because these are times when good is called evil, evil is called good. Bible times, prophetic times, and we want to be your front li- front line voice for truth in these times. Speaking of which, Gaza, as we wrap up here, Benjamin Netanyahu has reportedly approved a Gaza war plan, a Rafa war plan, I should say. That's the last vestige of Hamas resistance. Rafa lying along that Egypt border. Now the world is howling, wailing, and gnashing its teeth telling Israel not to go into Rafa. There are some 1.2 to 1.4 displaced Gazans living there right now. Israel says, look, we have a plan. We're going to create humanitarian islands, in essence, where we evacuate those civilians so we can go into Rafa and target Hamas and eliminate Hamas. The battle plan is reportedly approved, and Bibi says, look, we're doing it. Just like in Lebanon, it's not if but when. We must do it to achieve our goal of destroying Hamas. Rafa is their last stronghold. We got to do it. In the meantime, uh, the United States, the Biden administration opposing all of this. Anthony Blinken saying today, the Secretary of State, that Israel's first and primary concern must be civilians. And no one wants to see civilian casualties. It's a part of war. And Hamas caused this by, number one, invading Israel, and number two, using civilians as human shields. But I digress. I think Israel's first aim and first objective should be to destroy Hamas and win the war. Secondly, Blinken said, look, we haven't seen the Rafa war plan yet, and we haven't approved it. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Israel is a sovereign nation, 
And they don't have to say, mother may I, to the United States. And I'm a proud patriotic American. But folks, look, Israel's a sovereign nation. If they feel they need to do what's in their best interest for their nation and their people and going to Rafa, they're going to do it. They don't need the permission of any nation, including the Biden administration. Call me crazy, but I think that's a fact. And Chuck Schumer, a proxy of the Biden administration, the Senate Majority Leader, Democrat, said yesterday that Israel should hold new elections and Netanyahu has to go. Folks, unprecedented. Taking to the Senate floor and calling for the ouster of an allied nation, the leader of an allied nation. Not China, Russia, North Korea, no. Calling for the ouster of the prime minister of an American ally, the state of Israel. Hey, we live in upside down times where common sense is not so common. Keep all this in prayer. We're so glad you're with us every day so we can help you make sense of it. And much more to come. Stackelbeck tonight, the Watchman, the Stacks cast. We want to be your one-stop shop for all of this content on a daily basis. Thanks so much for joining us here today on The Watchman. Until next time, God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace. Hey, everyone. Thanks for checking out The Watchman Newscast. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you never miss an upload. And tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. And don't forget to share your thoughts, insights, and comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow.